welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all had a great weekend. Um, if you're new here, please do smash that like and subscribe button. And if you want to get a personal reading, the October reading special is now up on my website. So if you want to book that, go ahead and grab that spooky special for the month of October. All right, you guys. So yeah, let's get into this. We're going to take a look at the week ahead and see what messages are showing up for you for this week in all areas of your life. Wow, you got three major arcana already showing up. Okay, let's see what's happening. Ooh, wow, Got some reversals here. Okay, overall energy, the bottom of the deck this week. Singles of Pringle. And you guys, I did post on my community tab which tarot card has the snail on it. And it was, the answer was the Nine of Pentacles. As you can see, the snail is right there, bottom left, which means slow progress. For some of you, this is an energy of, it's taking you some time to get to this position. Being on your own or accepting that you are single, um, living your best life now um having no one else at this time or just really focusing on your money and not trying to push round pegs in square holes so it looks like the overall message is you are standing independent solo stable enjoying your life this week wearing the best clothes you can wear um things just fitting right for yourself and i feel like um this is also about accepting yourself and just being happy with who you are accepting where you are in life and just being okay with that this is about solo pleasures financial gains independence and it's about stability as well okay so the week looks kind of neutral like you're you're i don't know if you can hear my grandson in the background he thinks he's a dinosaur so he's he makes dinosaur sounds <laughs> so okay and and so let's take a look here so the past position you have the ten of pentacles so this it looks like it's kind of starting out a little bit with the finances so it looks like where well, you're coming from this place of again financial stability um wherever you came from last week or last month or just in your past it's it's because of that oh did I shuffle or something? Where'd that card go? Um, well, here's the Ace of Cups showing. So that Nine of Cup or Nine of Pentacles, it's because of the Ten of Pentacles that you are able to be off on your own, okay? Because of the stability, which can open you up for new love and new opportunities for love this week, okay? Um, so I feel like coming from that place or open, putting yourself in a position to be open to new blessings and new opportunities in your life, so you feel like you're coming from a good place, whatever stability means for you. Um, and I also pick up um, settled in your career or getting settled in a job or getting settled in a particular industry and just being okay with, you know, where you are. Some of you um, may have recently found a job and you're just like, okay, this is it. This is good. I'm going to stay here for a while or, you know put roots here okay now give me just a second here so um now i feel like what's grounding you this week is temperance and this is really just about again neutralizing being patient waiting for divine timing overall that that message i mean i do kind of feel like your heart your heart does ache for adventure. Your heart does ache for longing. Your heart is kind of telling your head to, you know, take that journey, go seek your heart's um, desires, that kind of thing. Um, separate yourself emotionally, I feel like, from also whatever is emotionally um, triggering you to. Um, and I do feel there is this desire to keep moving forward. But something right now, I feel like it's not the right time. Something right now is telling you to stay. Whether that's in a job or in a relationship or, or to stay and not get into a relationship. Something is, 
I feel like the overall message here is either someone or some kind of energy is telling you to stay put. I'm not telling you to stay put. It just feels like that's what I'm seeing here with the cards. Now you do have Cancer, Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, and Aquarius. Um, also Leo and Taurus showing up here. So I feel like <clears throat> there's a little something off or something that you feel like you're missing and I feel like it's to do with your love life. I kind of feel like everything else going on in your life is okay, but it, there's this sense of like, oh, it's mediocre. It, there's almost this feeling like everything's good, but without, like, there's your sign, but without love, you don't feel, it's kind of like, well, I don't have anyone to share it with, right? Because you've got the eight of cups here, and this is a desire to, you know, it's like your heart is telling your head, keep searching for love, keep going on that journey, keep looking. But something is like, no, it's not time yet. Maybe it's your, you've got a message in your head that if you go and try to find that, you're just going to run into these Knight of Wands type people who are just full of lust or um, not serious about relationships or not doesn't want to like people who don't want to build their in and out you know they're very scattered with their passions um so you're kind of like in this position this week where i'm good where i am but man i wish i had a partner in my life or uh, you know searching because the eight of cups goes to the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment so and you don't have the nine of cups here so it's like you're still on that journey like you, you just kind of like should I keep searching or should I not you know and there's this well if I keep looking I don't know if I can take any more of these dreaded relationships or these types of people so something here is telling you to kind of just stay stay put okay yeah, because I feel like if you if you do keep going on that journey, you know, it's not to say that you won't meet someone who is not going to be like that, but I feel like you, you will, I do feel like you will, who's going to be like wanting to partner up and, and, and come correct with you, but I also feel like you're going to meet a lot more of those dead ends, and that might be discouraging for you, and might have you saying to yourself, you know what, screw it. I'm just, just going to be me and my cat for the rest of my life. And that's it. I'm done. And that's, that's really no way to be either. You know, so maybe there's a pause or a break that you feel like you need to take at this time. You know, kind of like if you're on the dating site, just kind of pause your profile. Try to um, just put everything on pause. Just pause. <laughs> that's really what I feel like. Um, that energy now position of you you've got judgment in the reverse so that kind of explains it for me because I do feel like you're in this place where you know you don't want to make an error in judgment you don't want to um, go from the frying pan into the fire where you don't you don't want to get yourself in a situation where you're gonna have to recover from another relationship again so you don't want to get it, it almost feels like I don't know if it's advice but it does kind of look like it might be like your advice is to you know if you're going to keep seeking or um, keep dating and not give up the hope of finding someone this week or at any time, I feel like the vice is try not to be weak-minded about who, like don't get discouraged if you run into these Knight of Wands in reverse type people because, you know, the Knight of Wands in the upright is very passionate and very direct and goes from point A to point B to point C to point D, but the Knights are always in movement where the Knight of Wands in the reverse is kind of like point A to point B, point two, point B, point three, like point B, point four, and then 
point C. The Knight of Wands is, is scattered. It's all over the place. It's just kind of holding on to partners, but then upgrading, finding partners that look like past partners and holding on to them too, and just like really crazy energy, you know? Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to resonate. Some of you have had people that you've been with who have their like relationships ended and then the next person they went with looked exactly like the person they were with before so it's that kind of energy like it's just a little yeah what's going on with you a little crazy yeah um because judgment in reverse can represent having poor judgment so i kind of feel like you're this week really protecting yourself and just being a bit more wise and maybe even saying to yourself you know <laughs> i don't really trust myself to make good judgment at this time after everything i've been through um i'm just gonna put everything on pause right now so i just can get some clarity and try to figure out um you know what is right for me and bring things into balance because you've got temperance you've got justice and the chariot which all three are balanced cards except justice is in the reverse and when justice is in the reverse, yeah, that can represent like um, dishonesty and not being honest with yourself about your obstacles, your challenges, and the things that are in front of you. So it looks like that's your kind of taking an objective view of not so much why these types of people come into your life who take advantage of you, but after they do, why you hold on to them why you still let them, right? Because, you know, if they come in, it's one thing, but after they, you know, you can't, you can't help really who shows up at your door, but you can um, make the decision to close the door. And if you haven't closed the door after they've taken something from you, that's unfortunately um, something you have to take a look at about yourself, right? And we all do. So I'm not trying to point things, point the finger here. Um, Okay, so what's external to you is the lovers in the reverse. So I feel like that's kind of this week, especially why you're in this energy. Um, sorry, you guys, I'm trying to put my light so that you guys can, because I think it's been a little dark and it sure is blue. Um, so the lovers in the reverse is pretty much like separation. regrets and bad choices or maybe somebody who you had a love relationship with who's this isn't you this is somebody else who's out there making bad choices they have a lot of regret about um the lovers that they've chosen they could be going through a breakup or a divorce Let's see, I could tell you a little bit more. Here's the dinosaur growl in the background. <laughs> He's not alone. He's with his daddy. <laughs> All right, let's see. The lovers. Ooh. Wow. Eight of swords in the reverse. I feel like this person is coming to terms with, you know, now this could be someone that you were with. This could be a friend. This could be anybody. They're connected to you. They're external to you. But I feel like they either have regret for the people they've chosen or they have regret for a breakup. Um or a separation or divorce. I feel like this person is trying to escape their regret. Are they trying to liberate themselves from something? If you and if you were in a romantic relationship with this person, there is a, a sense of regret, remorse, or loss um, from a split up with you, also, and. Um, I feel like with this card, the Eight of Swords in the reverse, I feel like this person, they might have seen themselves as the victim in this situation, but I don't feel like they see themselves that way now. They might have um, kind of like, oh, it's all your fault. 
that you know things didn't work out or they maybe they told other people that yeah they're taking accountability is what i'm saying they're getting their hope back as far as they're trying to get their hope back so if you're in a romantic relationship with this person um they're becoming hopeful again that's something with you um and you know also well just in general and um there's some separation they're going through with um someone else that they were with as well or there's something they're breaking up or there's something ending okay so your hopes and fears see the star in the reverse virgo you are really you're really popping those batteries out of the clock right now and just time standing still like you are not trying to go back and you're not trying to move forward you're just trying to collect your thoughts this week um some of you like kind of feel like you hope that somebody isn't ignoring you on purpose and you're hoping that um there isn't any depression or illness going on either with you or that you're not you know that you're not depressed or that you're not getting sick um It's funny because the hopes and fears, when I say hopes, I mean the hopes are dashed perhaps for some of you in regards to your love life. You might feel a little bit like, oh, like, you know, that feeling of like, why bother? Everybody's crazy. Everybody just, you know, everybody you meet, these relationships, they just don't pan out. So that's kind of a little bit of depression, I feel. And you might kind of be like saying to yourself, oh, am I like... Is like what's going on with me? Am I getting ill? Am I feeling down? Am I getting depressed? Like, am I going through something? You know what I mean? So you might because when the, that there's that if you feel like you're being ignored or no one's interested in you, if you're just kind of trying to mask all that, you know, you might be having some fear about that. You know, like you're not going to meet anybody. Or, but I, I mean. I feel like this is a phase and thank God it's only a week because I feel like, you know, things are going to turn around and change here with the world because I feel like you're going to look back on this week towards the end of the week and be like, man, I was really going through it. <laughs> I really do feel like, man, I was really going through it. Oh my gosh, that was a rough week. I'm not saying that it's just an awful week. I just feel like this week is like, all right, you know what? Shut the door. Don't anybody knock on my door. Don't call me. I'm just kind of going inward. I mean, I feel like... This is the week you're you're hermiting for sure. Just putting a pause on things so you can just kind of get some clarity. Um, it just feels like um, get used to being on your own this week. And I know some of you have been on your own, you know. So I know you're like, oh, I don't, yeah, I'm tired of being on my own. But I don't know. There's something about this week that's really important that you do that. Maybe because you've got someone here who's going to try to return. Possibly. Now, I did say that on the weekend after that super moon. And I said on that weekend message that if it didn't happen over the weekend, it could be, sh you know, during this this full moon phase until it gets, excuse me, to the next phase. That energy could be still happening. I, I was saying in that, full, that super moon reading that that was just the, that super moon was a catalyst for change. It was the trigger. The light switch is turned on. Let me see. So, I feel like with the world, this is kind of like, just looking back on this whole week and just saying, all right, I'll just take a glance. Like, towards the end of the week, I see you here. Just kind of taking a glance back and just being like, well, that was a week. And then, you know, but your feet moving forward and um, going to the next screen of the game, you know, the next level, you know, for the next week. You know, I just see you kind of getting over it and walking away from this thing. But what is the lesson? I mean, because the world... 
for some of you, it might be about um, some unfinished business that you need to let go of. You know, some unfinished business or some lesson um, that you've been learning that where this week, it's kind of like, you know, when you're studying for a test and you're studying, 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 and then when you finish all the studies, then you just have that one last recap that you just kind of go over in the morning of everything you studied, you know, that just refresher before you take your test. This is like a recap for this whole week, I feel like. You know, what What have your lessons been throughout this whole situation? And then, you know, writing that short summary and then rereading it, doing that recap, and then taking, you know, taking that test, passing it, and then moving on to the next level. That's really what I feel like this message is here. And I feel like you're going to pass the test with the world. And that's about letting go and going into the next chapter and whatever that means for you, whatever the next chapter of your life is, you know, completing that goal or lesson. This is about completion. You know, for some of you, I, I will have to say for some of you, it is, we saw the Ace of Cups there. It is a new love start. Now it could be a cleansing also because the Ace of Cups is about a cleanse with all that water coming out. So it could be a cleansing of a past relationship that gets that you know has has had time to heal, and um, there's a there's an yeah, because you can't really have a new start in an old relationship when it's not cleaned. That the toxic the toxic elements of an old relationship have to be cleansed before there can be a, a new start to that. So for some of you, it is a new start of a past relationship that has been cleansed on both sides. And for others, it's just a new beginning for you in love. With new, new, someone new coming in. You're definitely going, like, here you go. A new beginning. Okay? A new opportunity. So some of you are going to definitely be getting that message this week. For sure. And for some of you, maybe at the end of the week. But there's an apology. You know, um, an offer. A solid offer. It doesn't mean, you know, you might... You might get it on Wednesday and then decide, well, you know, maybe on Friday you'll respond or you'll uh, text back or call, return the call, that kind of thing. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see how it plays out for you. Just want to get a couple other cards here and see what else is going on for you. Okay, so you've got fair male, someone who is lighter than darker showing up this week. What other message? I swear, this, this kid looks just like my youngest son. And he calls me all the time. Okay, you've got open relationship, no commitment, casual openness. All right, that's showing up this week. <laughs> Some of you are like, that's what we're talking about. He's sick of that. No. <laughs> Okay, you've got beauty queen shining on stage adored. You've got a courting male uniform, someone in a uniform, someone who's professional. Okay, you've got freedom, casual being single, like, all right, so let me put it all together. You do have a twin flame here. Um, there's a twin flame coming in, I'll tell you that. Some of you do have someone who has lighter than darker skin, eyes, or hair, um, trying to court you. This person could be very nice looking uh, or is very nice looking. They could be on stage or they're just well adored um, that may try to um, offer a casual relationship. And I feel like you're, looks like you're gonna say no to this person that you just would rather be for some of you, you will say no. You just want to be single and not with anybody at all. And for others, it's a twin flame and you will agree to have a casual relationship with this person. Okay? Not all of you. Not talking to all of you. Doesn't mean you're going to sleep with the person. Not saying that. 
Um, for some of you, it's a twin flame connection. You may just decide to keep it open and tell this person, well, oh, we can talk, but not engage in anything else. And others of you might decide to, you know, depending on your age bracket and where you are in your life, decide to have a casual open fling kind of thing with them. Like a short term thing. I feel like these came up the other day, didn't it? Some of you, yeah, because some of you are just really focused on your money at this time. You know? What do they say? Money wrecks relationships and rela relationships wreck money. So it really just depends. Some of you in Virgo mode. Work, 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 work. So you just like, <laughs> just like, no, this, you might work with this person and just be like, no, we're not, we're not ishing where we're eating. That's not going to happen. <laughs> um, and some of you might decide you don't want to have a casual thing with this person. Um, you're holding out for your twin flame. And in the meantime, you're just going to focus on your work and your money. Yep, you're holding out for true love. Okay, so very interesting message uh, for the week. Okay, so we have interesting showing up here. I'm just going to show you. We have Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Okay, we have... September 21st, August 31st, September 16th, August 25th, someone's born 1978, someone is 34, we have the letter E, someone's name, initial, street name, starts with an E, letter E, okay, September 3rd, we have the Zodiac sign Leo. We have Virgo again and Aries. And we have Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius again. Okay, someone's 25. They just told me TNT. Uh, we have the name Tina. Okay, Kincaid. I just heard Kincaid. Um, Caitlin. I just said Dina Cat Cat Dinosaur <laughs> I just heard dinosaur um Tim or Timmy or Timothy Rin Tin Tin maybe somebody's cat's name Tick Tick Tack Oh my goodness Somebody just got a DNA test, or somebody's getting a DNA test. Find out you're dating your brother or your sister. Way to go. Way to go. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my God. I'm sure it's happened. Mm, somebody's um, on an airplane right now, or just about to get in an airplane. Somebody likes PIMS, root beer, P I M, or PIM, PIMS. I just heard PIM. Okay. Andy or Andrew. Andy or Andrew or Andrea? My mouth is so dry. I had to take like a um, muscle relaxer for my neck, my head. So <laughs> I don't like taking pills. I don't know about you Virgos, but I'm just like so cautious when I take any kind of medicine. But oh my God, my head was killing me. Somebody's first name is Guy, G-U-Y, Guy. Um, okay, somebody's like checking their their chi, checking their chi, making sure their chi is right. Somebody's a very fit guy. I just heard fit guy or fitness or is fit, likes to go to the gym. Somebody likes fig, eats fig, like prunes or figs. Or somebody's getting figgy with it, getting figgy with it. Mm, there's that JJ, The vagilicious Virgo, <laughs> queevy. This is her Queevy. Okay. And um, somebody, okay, looking at gifts, a gif. Um, GQ. Someone's very GQ. Yes, very GQ, like a model. GQ. Is that even a magazine still? Do people still read that or look at that magazine? GQ. Fig leaf. There you go. You know, that's what I should have, I should have put fig leaves on these people. 
I don't know why I didn't. Again, I don't like these really old people bathing suits. He looks like he's in a big black diaper. I should like give him tattoos, tat them all up. Anywho, that's your reading. I hope that you enjoyed that. Oh wait, one charm. What do you have here? Oh, okay. Kind of looks like a circus dog or something. Scottish Terrier. Does anyone have a Scottish Terrier in a ring? Likes to roll around in the ring. I don't even know what that is. Plays with a ball or a beach ball. Okay. Or someone's from Scotland or has a Terrier dog. Yeah. Something significant about a Scottish Terrier. Maybe you have one of these animals or know someone who does or you've seen them. Maybe you're, you walk dogs like a little, little, a little daytime job little side hustle kind of thing all right you guys so i'm gonna leave that reading there for you hope you enjoyed that um i think i will do the live stream on monday so if you are a member of my channel look out in the community tab for the live stream to be posted so you can join in the q a on monday okay you guys so have a fantastic uh evening and i will see you all back here tomorrow take care bye